Hello everyone, I'm Sabrina here back again with all of you and today I'm gonna have the session on the listening modules. So assuming that some of you might be uh, new to the whole ass process, so let's uh, have a very short work through the main points of uh, the ALS listening part. So there are 40 questions for uh, an one hour session and uh, you need to walk through two, three, four separate parts as you answer them. Uh, so as you can see here are some of the band scores and uh, how much right answers you need to score each module. Let's assume if you are trying for the express entry, if you need to have a very good score in the CRS, that should be, uh, you have to target for sure uh, CLB9. And for CLB9, the listening requirement is band 8. And uh, as you can see over here, band 8 uh, allows you to make only 3 to 4 mistakes out of the 40 questions. So you need to be very specific and precise while you're answering if you're targeting CLB9. And if for the students, many of the students and the universities have different kind of targets. So you can choose your bands and uh, prepare yourself accordingly. But my suggestion will be that if you're a student or your own uh, target is some specific band for uh, let's say six, for six, as you can see, uh, you need to answer at least 23 to 25 correct, right? So that's not how you prepare yourself. You need to prepare yourself for band seven so that uh, in the real exam, you give yourself a cushion to make mistakes and then you may be reaching the right uh, score that you need. So uh, let me start by sharing some tidbits, uh, some tricks that you can uh, follow and get some correct answers and some do's and don'ts that will help you to have a better score in uh, listening. Uh, first of all, to improve your listening, there is no other better way than just practice listening to the listening modules. Even if you do not answer in the first time, like uh, maybe from today you're thinking of uh, preparing yourself for the listening module you go to the youtube browse the listening question papers there are thousands of them there you just play it and listen to it you don't need to answer but um, listen to a lot of listening modules available in the youtube and get used to that language the question pattern at first that how the questions are coming in the question paper and those papers i think are mostly keeping on updated so uh, that is one thing you need to keep on doing even before you're actually answering the questions. And second is that try to listen to more English channels. I'll not recommend without the subtitles. With subtitles, uh, watch movies on the star movies and uh, maybe eggs and HBOs. Listen to a lot of English movies which have subtitles. And now I'm explaining why I'm uh, recommending with subtitles is that uh, as you listen, there are many kind of accents in those channels, right? Some are Canadian, maybe American, then Australian as well as British. Even if you miss out what you heard, you can read it out. So you can connect them together. Okay, I heard this word or maybe this sentence in this way and it reads like this. Maybe I was wrong what I heard, but this is how it should be. So then you can by default correct yourself, correct your listening skills and uh, understanding skills. And also, uh, since uh, this is an ALS uh, mostly conducted by British councils and uh, most of the tapes are uh, from British accents. So get used to the British accents more. So uh, for that, you need to follow a lot of BBC news channels, right? So in that way, you get to understand, which is a bit different from our regular day-to-day -day English that we use on our real, real life. So if you listen to the BBC news more, you'll be more acquainted with the kind of language or the jargons or the styles they use. So that way, you can enhance your listening skills. Now, for answering the questions, what you should do and what you should not do. 
for listening spelling is very important we think uh, that okay uh, spelling is mainly considered for the writing part but no uh, even if you are uh, one letter wrong in a full right answer your answer will be uh, considered wrong if you are weak at spelling try to enhance that by yourself how to do that okay so to correct your spelling keep on writing now let's just forget those are gadgets and mobile phones and uh, laptops where we get auto corrected all the time so in fact i myself have almost lost a grip of on a lot of spellings which i used to be very good in my school life i remember so get rid of auto corrects and try to type words by yourself or maybe write words by yourself and then go check on the website if you're right so in that way you can enhance the spelling skills if you don't want to lose mark by giving the right answer but in a wrong spelling right then what you have to mainly follow that is the instructions and in the instructions they tell you maybe answer in two words or not more than three words you have to stick to that you cannot exceed two or three words whatever is mentioned over there if you write the fourth word the answer is automatically get crossed out right in that way you have to be very specific you can choose one word two word or maximum three word if it's written less or uh, no more than three words if you do not get that right straight in your head you will be losing out maybe five answers um, there are five questions which says that uh, you don't go beyond three words so if you do not understand that point you lose out on five straight marks you can't afford that right now what you can do uh, is next follow the instruction that is played on the tape so you go there and don't spend uh, a lot of time just correcting what you have already written just forget it whatever you have written in the previous part forget it it's not going to help right now because the tape is going to keep on going so you need to keep on going so this one thumb rule of listening is that if you missed out one answer or if you're unsure or you uh, get nervous that maybe my last answer was wrong you don't spend a single moment thinking of that in that process what you'll do is being nervous you miss out two three more answers in the process so you cannot do that and um, if you missed out one let it be a one minus don't make it five minus three minus on that process just move on the thumb rule is move on then um, what you're gonna do is listen very carefully to the plurals and singulars you know um, this is very unfortunate but maybe because of the accents or maybe because of the speed of the speaker we tend to miss out whether it's a school or schools and it cuts the whole point for you if the tape says it was school and you write schools you get no marks for that so you have to be very specific this is not only only that day's knowledge your previous knowledge and understanding of english and vocabulary and spelling also counts here it helps to your uh, achieving a good score next moving on is that helped me a really a uh, lot of time is the uh, prediction method what is that when you're uh, allowed to go for the questions reading that you are given 30 seconds to read the next five questions or six questions go and read that questions and mark some specific words over there that maybe the sentence reads something 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 and then dash that blank what can it be is it a what is it a why is it a where i'm going to give out one sample done for you over here that which words you need to mark and if you do that question by question as the tape starts again uh, for that session you know what to look for in that recording so these are the samples that can help you understand what i'm trying to say if you can predict the answers beforehand it's gonna be very easy to locate the answer as you hear them right uh, for me a lot of times prediction again has worked in a different way maybe uh, after i heard the tape and the tape is over i missed out one or two points so what you can do is as you have already missed out the answer 
you cannot leave it blank just take a chance why not take a chance there is no negative marking right so you just go there and fill out the blank which with the word which you feel is right because you have already heard the tape you have some idea what the tape has been talking about right so in that context whichever word you feel is right just put it there because uh, at least that will not cut you any marks these are mainly a uh, very uh, tricky parts that i'm trying to make you understand over here uh, there's no thumb rule to get things right but um, in the process of practicing you will get to understand a lot of things by your own self and uh, lastly the handwriting is very important uh, for reading answers and listening answers and of course for writing and the three modules your writing pattern matters so if the examiner is not able to understand what you are writing, even if it's right, they might not give you the mark. So try to make it as neat and clean as possible. A lot of you asked maybe about uh, going for the block letters or the small letters. It really doesn't matter in uh, writing the answers for both listening and reading. You go, you can go for either of them. Either you can choose block or the small letters. But if the answer is right, you will be scored in the perfect way. To take a good preparation for IELTS, if your time is very short, maybe if you are trying to sit for in one or two months, you need to give yourself, I mean, assign yourself at least with two hours a day in five days a week. Otherwise, you'll not be able to get that kind of score that you're desiring for. So assigning time for yourself is very important for us. Uh, and um, Choose your comfortable time. If you're a morning person, choose a time slot, maybe six to eight. You have full concentration on us and then you go for your daily life. If you're a night owl, choose your night slot and give your full concentration. Just cut off from everything, cut off from your mobiles and internets and chats, everything. And just concentrate on those two hours, particularly uh, for preparing yourself in the hours. And that will be all, I guess. So see you on the next session, inshallah. Take care, all of you. Bye-bye.